Now, if players want to mix things up even more beyond the intermediate rules, you can also try playing advanced rules, Lords of War. Now, this is really simple. All you need to do for advanced rules, Lords of War, is rather than every player keeping their hand a secret from one another, you would, at the end of the playing area or at the end of the battle mat, simply lay out the six cards that you have in your hand, which allows your opponent to see what you've got to play. Now, this seems like a subtle change, but what it allows you to do is see where, say, on the battlefield it might be safe to lay cards if there's any ranged cards in your opponent's hand and so on. One word to the wise, it does extend the length of games quite a lot. You're expecting probably about a half an hour length extension on the end of games, but it does make the game enormously strategic and a heck of a lot of fun. So let's talk now about personalizing your deck in Lords of War. As you'll probably have noticed, every card has a rank icon that's underneath its unit type. So there are seven types of rank icon, including the general. So the general I've put amongst all of the command cards. So there's six command cards in total, including the general. Then you have four special units, four elite units, six veteran units, eight regular units, and eight recruit units. That basically it relates to their power. So your recruits are going to be a lot weaker than your elite troops. But we've limited the number of each type that you can have in each deck to ensure that no matter how much you customize your army in Lords of War, the game is always going to be fair. What personalizing your army allows you to do is say, for example, I've got my dwarves here and I have an awful lot of ranged units and no cavalry really. Well, why don't I remove, say, four of my axe throwers and then add into the mix four orc war hogs? So all of a sudden, I've massively increased the proportion of cavalry that I have in my force. Now, theoretically, with the lizard men and elves that are on the way, and the orcs and the dwarves, you can create a completely mismatched army across all of your different races in Lords of War, and that will lead to what we call a mercenary army. Or what you could do is simply remove from your army one type of dwarf troop and add in more of a particular different type of dwarf troop. But that, of course, will involve you owning more than one copy of Lords of War.